and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be diving into not necessarily my skincare routine, but I just wanted to share with you my current skincare collection. I have gathered here all of my current or most, I'm, I left sheet masks out of here just because like there's are like one time things, but I gathered um, pretty much all of my skincare products that I keep in rotation. And the reason why I didn't make this like a skincare demo slash routine like in my first skincare video or skincare routine video is because I use different products like every day. So I use different things on different days for different purposes. Like I don't use the same face mask every day or I use an exfoliator once or twice a week and they're different exfoliators. So I wanted to show you everything and break down how I use certain products for what purpose and when. So without further ado, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I post typically Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. And as usual, everything will be listed down below, all the products I mentioned here today. And that typically goes for like get ready with me's or tutorials everything I use or mention will be listed in the description box below so if something you see tickles your fancy you can always find it down below but yeah let's go ahead and get on into it okay so I'm gonna start off with the most basic product um, that I use every single morning and that is the Vanna cream gentle facial cleanser this is a face wash that I actually bought because of a recommendation from Kathleen lights she said that this really helped her um, in her acneic skin irritation days, um, I think a couple years ago. And this is great. You can pick this up at Target for about nine bucks. It's dermatologist recommended. And I love it because it's so gentle on my face in the morning. A little goes such a long way. You get eight fluid ounces. It's free of dyes, lanolin, fragrance, masking fragrance, parabens, formaldehydes, and other preservatives. And it's sulfate free. I love this because it's not necessarily, like I've never used this to remove my makeup. I mean, I never really use cleansers just to remove my makeup. I will use a makeup remover and then wash my face, which I will go into makeup removers after cleansers. But I love this just because it's so gentle, it comes out in like a milky white consistency. It's really good stuff. So I will always use the Vanna cream in the morning. That is my number one always go to every single day. But at night when I get home or after I take off my makeup, my cleansers kind of change depending on the day of the week. So twice a week, I will go in with these exfoliators. One of them is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. Um, I love this. It has clarifying Japanese loofah fruit extract for normal to oily skin. This helps clarify the skin and the packaging is actually really beautiful. Um, I know some people say they have trouble with this packaging, but honestly, I just find that when you just shake it so that all the product collects at the bottom and you just squeeze gently once like a little dime size amount will deposit and that's like all you need really um i love this because it's a really gentle exfoliant it's not as scrubby as this one so it's more forgiving on the skin it's not going to irritate it and it feels really clean like i will just remove my makeup with a wipe and then just go in with this all over my face and really rub it in standing in front of my sink when there's no water running just so I can really get that product melted into my skin and I really really love this and then in the shower once a week I will use this formula 10.0.6 one smooth operator pore clearing face scrub I've mentioned this in a couple of videos I think most recently in my mattifying skin tips video um, and I really like this because it does have zinc which helps with oil but it does have these really nice granules that really get into your skin but it's not going to really mess with the skin i feel like it's still gentle enough but it really gets that nice deep cleanse plus it comes out pink i don't know if you can see it right there it comes out pink and it smells like bubble gum and then at nighttime when i'm not using an exfoliator i will use this dr woods tea tree facial cleanser on a scrubby pad which you've seen my like little scrubby i'll actually get it hold on I would say this is the cleanser that I use in the most varying ways and I'll explain. So sometimes if I'm not wearing makeup on a day and I come home and I wash my face, I will still use this just without any kind of scrubby pad or brush or whatever. And I'll just use my fingers or my hands. It has a really nice gel like consistency and it will leave your face like squeaky clean. Like I don't know if you guys have cleansers that make your skin feel like moisturized or whatever like this does not do that this literally just makes your skin feel clean um it has a really nice lather i've spoken about this in my i think april favorites but i do love this you can get it on amazon it's really affordable and i love it because it's so natural it's formulated for oily combination skin and it does have tea tree so it's going to help with blemishes and it's antioxidant formula with fair trade shea butter so it's not going to strip your skin and it has like a bunch of different things that 
I mean, you can just read on your own, but it's going to prevent excess oil and it's non-comedogenic, so it's not going to clog your pores, which I really, really like. And on days where I'm not using any exfoliant or I'm using this on like a scrubby pad, I'll just use this little like Daiso, sorry, you can see like the soap build up around the edges because it just sits in my shower. I'll use this on a scrubby pad and I find that after I go in with a makeup remover, it really just gets all of that excess product out and it feels super clean. So nine times out of 10, I am taking a shower um, when I come home from work and I have makeup and I will just use this as my first step in the shower. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E. It's a cleansing oil and I love this. I got this from Target. It's about 6.5 fluid ounces and I believe I got this for nine bucks. Um, and it says it deep cleans and brightens, removes makeup and impurities, no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates with grapeseed, jojoba, rosehip oils, and vitamin C. And I love this because it really just is a great oil that I love to use on my dry skin. So I'll get in the shower, I'll just pump one pump is all you need and just rub this all over my dry face to just get all of that makeup off before I rinse and then go in with one of those cleansers that I mentioned. Um, and I love this because it's really gentle but I really find that it gets all of my makeup off. On days where I like to take a bath or maybe I'm not showering at night, I will use a makeup wipe and then go in probably with like this Tatcha. These are wipes that are super cheap. These are literally a dollar each. I've already spoken about this a thousand times so I don't want to beat a dead horse. I love those wipes. But these are from the dollar store, um, but they're really, really great. I mean, they have no parabens, harsh chemicals, alcohol, or dyes, and they're formulated for sensitive skin and I really, really do like these. Um, I will say I like how saturated these are. These aren't as saturated but they're more of a thick cloth so you get a lot more I feel like in each wipe but yeah good stuff all right after cleansers comes toners and I want to talk about the two toners that I use morning and night let's start with my morning toner you guys probably already know this this is the Ole Henriksen or Ole Henriksen I'm sorry if I don't say that correctly I just don't know how to pronounce that um, this is the balancing force oil control toner it has salicylic acid AHAs neem seed oil and this is a great morning toner because it's so cooling so refreshing on the skin I will just put this into a cotton pad or cotton ball and just basically rub this all over like my t-zone or my oily areas or my problem areas and it does really help with shine and the salicylic acid is really good for blemishes and then at nighttime i will use this mario badescu special cucumber lotion um this is for combination and oily skin types you can get this at sephora you can get this at ulta um and i love this it has cucumber vitamins minerals and it's cruelty free paraben free i just love mario badescu i have so many of their products i think they're really really nice and i will just use this at night before i go in with the next products i'm about to show you oh i also want to mention this mario badescu facial spray because this is like my second toner step after i go in with like one of those toners this is like my favorite thing in the world it's so refreshing i use this as like a midday pick-me-up if i'm wearing makeup but regardless i use this twice a day morning and night it just really wakes up the skin it just makes it feel so much more refreshed and hydrated especially here in the summer i mean i do have oily skin but i always 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 make sure that i am moisturizing it and trying to hydrate it so it doesn't get even more oily because if you don't apply moisturizer it will um but i love this they have three different varieties i've used all of them but this is the one that i've recently picked up in the bigger size this has aloe chamomile and lavender and it's really gonna help brighten the skin with because it does have vitamin C, which is always something that I'm looking for. So yes, love this. I use this twice a day, cannot go without it. And then also twice a day, the step that I go in directly after um, that Mario Badescu spray is this Kate Somerville Anti-Back Acne Clearing Lotion. This just comes out as like a little white milky cream and it literally just feels like a cream. I don't feel like this dries out my skin at all, but then again, I do have oily skin. So if you're dry, you definitely probably wouldn't wanna use this twice a day, but I just love concentrating it I've actually replaced my vitamin C serum that I still have but it's one of those products that I'm really kind of iffy about and I don't use anymore I replaced that with this and the active ingredient is 5% benzoyl peroxide so it's gonna be really good at targeting your blemish areas and this actually says to use am and pm which is what i do and i just take one pump and i only apply it to my blemish prone areas so typically you know around my chin or on my forehead or between my brows i don't apply this everywhere um just because i don't break out everywhere i have my trouble areas and those are my trouble areas 
but I really, really like this. I picked this up at Sephora. All right, so after those treatments and toners comes moisturizer, right? So I'm gonna start with the one that I consider to be my morning moisturizer, and that is the Tree Hut Skincare Protecting Daily Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And I love this because it has natural botanicals, it has no mineral oil, no phthalates, no parabens, no sulfates, and it has a few other claims that aren't written on the bottle. I love this, it comes in a pump, and um, the consistency is very, nice it just melts into your skin i will say that if you do have oily skin like myself i think in my last get ready with me video you could see that my skin gets a little bit shiny from using this moisturizer but that goes away immediately after i go in with a primer and foundation and powder so it won't last but i love this on a daily basis because regardless of what i'm doing if i'm not wearing makeup i love to just put this on if i'm going outside and every day i pretty much have to go outside because i have to walk this one Right here so it's really really good I always say always 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 wear an SPF especially during the summer and then kind of the moisturizer I'm wearing today which is I know you're thinking like why were you wearing this I mean you're not you're going outside but this is the formula 10.0.6 thirst no more moisturizer with fruit complex and white tea this is more of like a gel consistency so it's a little bit more slippy a little bit more um thin and more lightweight on oily skin i love this it smells nice the consistency is amazing it's absorbed by your skin super easily and i'm actually wearing this right now because i'm wearing an spf foundation on top so if i am going to wear an spf foundation sometimes i will just use this most days regardless i'll just use an spf moisturizer but i love this because it's kind of like my in-between moisturizer like this is a really good versatile moisturizer i can use this if i'm wearing wake up during the day and then i come home and i shower and wash my face i want to apply moisturizer at night but i don't want that spf flashback i will always use this and it just works so well and then in terms of a night cream this is the one that i've recently been using this is the found clarifying arnica flower night cream um this is a brand from walmart that's super super nice it has a really nice consistency it's a little bit thicker than this which is to be expected from a night cream but i really really genuinely do love this product it absorbs really well it doesn't feel heavy on your face and it does have cucumber and aloe and arnica flower to really help with congested pores and to cool your face and provide that moisturizer so i love this at night and then i want to give a shout out to the trader joe's 100 argan oil this is kind of like an in-between moisturizer for me as well not a day cream not a night cream but sometimes i will use this at night if i'm feeling like my skin just needs like that extra hydration because argan oil is actually really good for blemished skin so i will use it sometimes and i just want to give a shout out to it because it's so affordable it's organic it's pure you can get this for seven dollars at trader joe's all right this video is so long already but i wanted to just quickly give a shout out to my face masks I have three that I keep in rotation. I do want to say that like on days where I'm using an exfoliating scrub, I don't want to use an exfoliating mask. So I typically will use a different mask every other day. So um, I want to just start with the one that I used last night. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Deep Clearing Manuka Honey and Tea Tree Oil Clay Mask. I love the scent of this. This is perfect for oily breakout skin. I think I've also mentioned this in my March favorites. And you do get so much product for six fluid ounces. Again, Freeman is a really affordable brand but i will say some of their ingredients in their masks can be a little bit a little bit sketchy so just beware for that but i love oh i love how this smells and this dries super quick they say you only need to leave this on for five minutes i just do this mostly like in my t-zone or around my troubled areas and i love this i love this so much this is kind of like my clay mask and then i have this brightening mask this is the andalou naturals pumpkin honey glycolic mask this has fruit stem cell science and it has pumpkin ha's and this is really good at just brightening your skin it literally looks like it's pumpkin puree it's so cute but this is not like that thick opaque consistency like this mask this mask applies a little bit more sheer it layers pretty nicely and i love this for after i have really bad breakouts um i'll just apply this on days where i feel like most of my blemishes are flat and it'll do a really good job at brightening your skin and just making sure that the acne spots or dark spots are minimized so i love that so that is my brightening mask and then now i want to talk about my exfoliating mud mask as you guys know i was using the body shop charcoal mask which i loved but that one was so hard to rinse off this rinses off like nothing like literally easier than these two masks this rinses off so nice despite like the granule 
thoughts in this product look this is what it looks like this also smells nice like damn I don't know this is really great this is by the brand tree hut another natural affordable brand one of my favorites ever um and this has natural botanicals detoxifying charcoal it's the same brand as my daily moisturizer by the way but i love this i think the consistency is so nice it does dry down all the way and it turns like a really cute like periwinkle color but when you rinse it off you do get that exfoliating effect so as you can see, I like these for different reasons. I do quickly want to give a shout out to this e.l.f. Um, liquid gel. It's like their acne gel. It has aloe vera, tea tree, I think a lot of good ingredients. And I will use this um, at night before I go to bed. It's just like a little roller ball and I'll just roll this specifically over my areas. I know I've applied benzoyl peroxide, but they actually work good together benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid um i don't do this every single night just because i don't want to overdrive my skin but this is really good stuff all right and last but not least because this is part of the face i want to talk about these lip balms that i use these are just my basic no color lip balm so they're not tinted they're just treatment lip balms i'm going to start with the one i use the most this is the bali coconut lip balm by pacifica it's just your standard lip balm I love the smell of this and I do love the application. I don't feel like it's the most long lasting, but this is a great everyday around the house after shower lip balm. I love it. And then this is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm and I use this for one purpose only because it's so expensive and I don't wanna like use too much of it. This I use every single morning before I apply lipstick when I'm doing my makeup for the day. I love this, I have this on right now underneath my liquid lipstick and I do find that it does help with the moisture on your lips throughout the day. And then at night I use this Burt's Bees um, Overnight Intensive Lip Treatment. It's one of those pots that you just kind of dip your finger in. I love the consistency of this. It's not overly emollient, it's not too like slippy but before i used this by the way this keeps my lips hydrated through the entire night i love it before i used this i was using this kopari lip love which is basically just like a coconut scented um vaseline -y consistency slippy oily lip balm and i do really like this i do find that it keeps my lips moisturized but overnight i gotta say this works a lot better all right everyone and that is it for this roundup of all of my current skincare products that i keep in rotation um i know there are a lot of products but as i've explained i use different products every day so i don't use the same combination of things every day um but i hope this was helpful maybe you were looking for skincare products again i do have oily acne prone skin and i do really love all of these products because i have been putting them to the test for a while now but let me know what's essential in your skincare routine in your skincare collection i would love to know but that's it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to to please give this a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um i know i've talked your ear off but i really appreciate you guys watching but yeah thank you so much for watching again have an amazing day wherever you are and i will see you in my next video Mwah! bye guys